And welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. You know, we're going to do some fun, okay? Uh, last couple of months, we've been trying to play with like different recipes, like how to use grinder machine, grinder comparison. You know what? This afternoon, let's compare Torani versus Monin. Okay, so Monin is, I just got this syrup. Uh, I bought from the world market right down the street from here. I hear great things about it. Uh, they are about the same price. So this is $10. They're both $10 each. And uh, if you're looking at the ingredient, they both use a pure cane sugar. Okay. So they're both sugar. Okay. Not the uh, uh, fructose, uh, you know, so I really like that. By the way, if you guys like salted caramel, uh, highly recommend the sugar. Okay. Rather than the fructose because this is also made by Tarani. They are using the, yeah, I say this one does not use the, something about this one has a funny aftertaste, okay? So I've been using over the years. If you're gonna go with the Torani, go with the pure maize syrup. Uh, so these things are really enjoying it over the years. Fantastic. But I have not used the modern, and I ne so this is my first time using it. So this afternoon, let's do some comparison. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small, uh, Smart cappuccino or something like that. And then I'm going to put about 10 grams each. Okay. Both 10 grams each. Let's make a nice milk based drink. Okay. I cannot wait for this. Should be a lot of fun here. So anyway, uh, let me know in the comment section. If you, if you guys try both, have you tried both uh, syrup yet? If you do, let me know which one you guys prefer. Monon or Torani. So let's find out here. Oh, hold on. Uh, one more thing. So we are, I'm going to be using uh, Columbia Hula. Okay, Hula. <clears throat> uh, from Good Brothers Coffee here. Uh, tasting though is pretty nice. Butters, uh, let's see. Buttered caramel. I like that. Brown sugar and some little bit of apple. Okay, for the tasting notes. Okay. So I'm going to be using... You know, let's use a uh, P64 this afternoon. I already measured out 18 gram. So with, uh, so, okay, also I'm gonna be doing the direct dosing as well. Let's do the direct dosing straight to the pot filter. So I do like to use a little bit of water, in, dip it in, shake it well. Okay. So we're going to be doing the direct dosing. Here we go. Now let's give you guys a close view here. Well, it looks pretty good. Not a lot of static there. Okay. Let's do the quick puck prep here. pretty good there I mean they're fluffy I have to say okay you know I'm gonna I'll give it a quick WDT that's my WDT collections homemade versus a uh, 3d print I'm just gonna do the quick WDT on the top that's all You know, I'm just going to temp it. Okay. So this is the Lillette Bianca stock temper. Works pretty good though. I really enjoyed using it. Comes to temping pressure. 
Just be consistent, okay? okay looks pretty good there. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm gonna use the uh, puck screen as well. I know people ask me who and why are you using puck screen? Because I like having a clean shower screen. It's going to make your taste better? No, I don't think so, but at least I'm going to have a clean shower screen for sure. Okay, lock it in. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because I'm going to be got 18 grams in. Let's do... That's a lot around 45 gram out there. I'm just gonna line up. All right, let's take a look. Okay. It might not work there, we'll see. Yeah, the scare is not working properly. You know, I'm just gonna pull the shot straight. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's about nine bar pressure going on. There we go. I don't think there, but it's all right. We're gonna be using milk point, so. Okay, so at this point, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put about 10 grams each of caramel syrup. So with the morning, put 10 gram. Just go nice and easy. Okay, I got 12.8. Okay. All right, this one here. Let's go around 12.8 gram. Okay. I want to be fair comparison. 12.345, yeah, that's fine. 12.5. Okay, so clear glass is the Monin and the Tarani. All right, let's stem some milk. Okay, milk is done there. Make sure you wipe it clean, okay. All right. Let's do some latte art. It's gonna be flat white, folks. It's gonna be a little bit of flat white. There's Vermonen. This is Tarani. <laughs> I 
Well, it looks pretty good. I have to say, not bad. All right. So let's find out. Okay. I'm gonna start with the uh, Torani first because I know I've been using Torani for years, so I know that I'm very familiar with it. Cheers! Happy Saturday. Okay. It's quite nice. Very nice. I'm just gonna wash down with some water. So now. We're gonna try it with Torani. I'm sorry, uh, Monin. Okay, so this is uh, caramel from uh, Monin. Wow, man. Okay, this is this is. I'm telling you, Monin is really good. I really like it. If you haven't tried morning caramel, salted caramel, highly recommend it. Okay, as you saw, my shot wasn't that great, right? My shot was somewhat, you know, I don't know, it wasn't that great shot. But, whenever you mix with this, uh, milk and sugar, especially right kind of sugar, this is really nice. I'm pretty impressed with the morning. Yeah, it's, hold on. Let's let's go, uh, let's go back to Torani. Okay, man. No comparison, guys. The uh, morning has more more caramel flavor. I love it. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, I saw some some people. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome, okay? Welcome to our afternoon session here. Let's see, say, Abby say 100% morning. Abby also asked, do you, th uh, do you think that distributing two is really necessary? No, uh, not, not, all depends, okay? I mean, fact is, if your coffee is your hobby, as like I do, they're fun, okay? That's fun process to make sure everything is a nicely level. Uh, get rid of the, all the clumps. Yeah, so you're gonna get a you know better extraction But in reality, can you tell the difference? If you I mean if you have extremely fine palate, you know taste buds there you might be But you know what how many times actually you guys drink espresso in the morning? You know, I mean I love my Americano in the morning. So mo most times I mix with the hot water. I mean very rare Okay, I drink this okay. I very rare to drink milk bakes drink but yeah mo mo most times I drink straight up espresso but it light roast though I like the very uh, bright tasting notes but uh, mo most times just a pour over or uh, long black or Americano there okay so cook it for coffee who make sure I put the link to Amazon so I can buy you got it buddy Okay, hold on. Super 23, yeah, get a piece of morning sales with secret codes. I don't know what secret code is. You mean discount code? Okay, what else? I definitely put the link. If you have, I mean, morning is, if you haven't used morning, okay, I do have a morning uh, sugar free stuff here. Hold on a second. Okay. I do have a sugar-free morning, man, it's not that good. So anything with a sugar-free has a really funny aftertaste. I mean, even like regular Torani, just the caramel, funny aftertaste, but man, I'm telling you, the pure made Torani syrup is really nice. But same time, this morning is spectacular, I have to say. Anyway, uh, so that was, that was fun, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday afternoon. Just make sure if you haven't entered the giveaway, okay? I'm going to put the link down below when I'm done with it. Just make sure to do the giveaway, okay? And uh, I know Super23 from Mexico, so yeah, now, uh, have you entered that 
Yeah, Super 23. If you haven't, do it. Okay, I think we are pretty good for this afternoon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning.